Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and uh, from today I am starting up a new playlist that is related to your Power BI page generated report or you can say the Power BI report builder, right? So first thing first, like what is report builder, why you will use it, where you will use it, right? The question is very simple because you have a Power BI report already, why one more extra, right? So think like that, suppose you have a Power BI report here, okay? So it's a basic report with uh, suppose let's take some product names are there and some sales are there right so it is if you this is not the whole product right so if you scroll down there are multiple products i have and everything so my requirement here is two things first thing is i want to print suppose end customer is always talks about the hard copy and all so whenever he's exporting this report he wants the copy so the problem with uh, the Power BI report is what is that whatever is present right now on the screen, right? If you do a print, then this is the only product it will be available on your print screen. Hmm? So it will not available or it, there is no paging system I can have or it will not print page by page whatever report you have in this one. So for that, another uh, reporting concept will come into picture that is called the paginated report. Right? That's, what, that's what is called the Power BI paginated report. Second, whenever you uh, need a pixel kind of report, pixel report in the sense, I will give an example. Suppose you have a report you want to export to an Excel and end user is consuming the data in Excel. So Excel have a particular sales, right? So in this sales, report, suppose in this sales, I want my heading, here I want my column name, here I want my column headings, here want my data. So exactly pixel perfect report, right? We can achieve through the Power BI report builder, which is called the paginated reports. This is the two points when you are using it, okay? But most of the cases, there is some uh, like uh, problem or that there's some disadvantage also in the paginated report because uh, when I saw that there are only the SQL server connections which are there, right? From there, it is very easy to uh, like build up the Power BI paginated report. And that is the most compatible version for that Power BI paginated report, okay? And actually the Power BI paginated report is previously the SQL Server Reporting Services, SSRS. So that comes under to the Power BI uh, stack and it's called your Power BI report builder, okay? So how to uh, get your report builder? You can go to your Microsoft store directly in your system and you can search for how you're searching for the your power bi desktop right let it come up just give me a second yeah so now here you can search for report builder Okay, so you will get a Power BI Report Builder app. Just install it. Okay, as simple as that. Very simple. Now, once you install it, and you search for that, I will say Report Builder. It is just like a Power BI, but it will be Power BI Report Builder. Okay, now just open this. So it will open up. And this is the interface. This is saying that you need to start something and all so just close it out okay and this is the screen it will be looks like this so there are some couple of tools option i have there are some report data options i have there are some canvas where you can create your report all this thing there is a parameter there is a properties window is there all these things but that we'll see later but the most important thing is uh, data sources and the data sheets okay so whenever you are working with the Power BI report builder or the paginated report, you need to create the first data source, second is a data set. What difference is there? Data source is nothing but it is just keeping the connection information where you are connecting. Okay. So, suppose I want to connect to a SQL server one database, then I have one database called Anti SQL, and from that I want to just connect to an employee. Okay. So, basically, I want to uh, what you called? I want to connect to this database, learn underscore t sql. So just copy the database name for a sec and 
right click on the data sources click on the data source there will be another power bi data set connection also will be there we'll see later right now let's create a data source and this will be a complete series don't worry okay so here i can say um, sample sample data source i'm saying and by default it will be sql server other database are there but there are limitations we have okay so most probably it will be sql server and azure analytics services those are the most important thing but we'll go with the sql server okay now click on the build and i will put the my server name since local so my server is in my local i will put my local host okay and from here i i can choose my database so this connection let's create a this connection succeeded okay now here also you can check a connection created successfully done so one connection is created so you can have n number of data sources here and for different tables different data source or oh sorry different database we can have some connections now from here we want to fetch some data right so for that we need to create your data set so right click on this add data set okay so i say employee data set based on which data source connection it will be based on my sample that we need to select it here so you have a choice here okay so the first text option we need to write your query on your own table is not there you can click on the query designer and we can select your table from here and automatically your uh, sql server or the this report builder will generate the query so the best option is you can write some query so very simple query i'll write here i just what i did i just copy paste this simple okay top 100 something like that i will remove the top 1000 because i need all the data so i am saying select employee id employee name department name and my salary from this employee table now click on the validate query is saying that query validation was successful data set fields were updated now if you put ok automatically one data set will be created where all the data or all the column which were there on that the data set it is available for you okay now the time to represent this data so the first class this is the thing we will create a data source we'll create a data set then finally we'll represent it in a table okay so to open up a table suppose you want to represent this data either we can represent in the form of a table we can represent in the form of a matrix or you can form in the form of a chart as well so let's start with a very basic table so how to install a table here this is the canvas area okay and this row group column group properties we can hide also you can click on the view and if we click on the grouping the below will be goes out if we click on the property it will goes out so you can have a, some options and whenever it is required you can just uh, enable that okay and uh, how to import the table you can click on the insert menu and we have a table here so one way is to table one way to the wizard system that will not do it will go to insert table here insert table and you can just create like this or i can just select it and delete it sorry delete it otherwise right click on this blank area insert table i think this is the best way to do it i click insert table okay and you can just place it somewhere and now suppose you want to represent the data so on the first i will select employee id heading is employee id this is employee name this is my department name okay now i have automatically three columns are present how to get the fourth column choice is just select this right click insert column to the right okay so now we will get my salary okay so this is your data the underlying data and this is your headings and you can change the heading also double click on this so i say this is id just id okay and this is let's take only the name the 
this is I'll say DPT DPT okay and this is capital not capital like this salary okay so now another option I have this is called the title okay I can just select that I'll say sample employee info I'm just giving a title here and underline below there is an execution time it's a global execution time we'll discuss later but right now let's go with this okay now just select it and you can have a background also okay so there are multiple ways to give the background for this text box okay so one way to do it is click on this and select something like this okay this is called the background okay another way is called uh, you can just open up your properties window and from the background color you can do the same thing almost the same thing. okay now let's come to the this one or right click on this text box properties fill and you can just create the font so there are three ways to do it this one okay so anything you can do now suppose you want to do some sizing of your data so i have selected this one that's little bit small size here one so let's make it 20 make it as a blue and color i will need white right and i will make the center alignment here right and i can resize also like this so that it will fit this okay and i will move my table bit this here this okay now here is a basic very basic report we have created it okay now how to uh, store this or how to run this because in this one there will be no data it will be available okay so we need to click on the run button here then it will run it and everything if all goes well then it will show you the data and here the advantage which i told you that it will be the page system see one of two so when you print this page it will be print page by page and finally it is giving me the date which i am calculating here so this is the advantage of a paginated report and you can click on the design again you can come back to this fine and we can save this file we can publish this file to the power bi services also but that needed a premium license we will discuss about the license for that right now we can save this file if you want save the file okay wherever you want suppose i want say employee list and the extension is called the rdl file remember the power bi file is pbix power bi file whereas the paginated report is called the rdl file rdl report definition language you save it and anytime you can open it up and you can start working on this okay so this is the first class i'm just giving introduction to this how to create and all so uh, please please do that and i will gradually come up with other videos on this one so that we can have so much scenarios whichever is available and this is a very simple tool but yet effective because few companies some of the companies use this and you should know that whenever in your work front okay okay thanks for watching and have a nice day bye bye